Uh, it's the new book that has a collection of amazing stories. Lisa Ortiz is in West Sacramento finding out more about it this morning. Hey, who? Yes, Cody Stark, I booked this segment just for you because, Thank as you. I told Miss Emma Fullenweider, I said, I know a guy who has been writing a book since I met him <laughs> nearly 16 years ago. So today, this is all book. for you. <laughs> <laughs> she is a memoir coach. This is Emma, and you are releasing your very first book today. Congratulations to you. Thank you. You were the editor here. It is called Onward, True Life Stories of Challenges, Choices, and Change. You're an actual memoir coach. What is a memoir coach? Well, most people want their stories to outlive them, yeah. but they don't know how to make that happen. So a memoir coach helps people think about the moments in their life that really, really matter mm -hmm. and get them out of their memory on the paper. On the paper. And that's what, what, 67, 64 people? 64 authors contributed 60. to this book. To this book. How cool is this? So these are actual life stories. And they were not writers. They were not professional authors. Authors, none of that. They were just normal people like you and me. Normal people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What we really wanted to show people with this book is how powerful the average person who's not a writer, their story can change the world. Mm -hmm. So you're all about helping people save that story, right? To get it out on to print. What, how do people do that? Because like I just told you, I've got a guy here who's got all kinds of stories up here, but he needs to get them on paper. So how, what do you tell people? Because the, when you say, I want to write a book, that sounds very daunting. It's very overwhelming. Yeah. It's very overwhelming. Yeah. It's a lot of hard work. Um, most people, I think like 90% of Americans say they want to write a book, about 40% ever try to start a book, yeah. and only 3% finish. So it's very, very hard to write a book. Okay. Um, but most of what keeps people from starting yeah. is that fear of making a mistake. Yeah. And I mean, it, that just needs to not be the reason why you don't start your mm -hmm. story. Because yeah. as a professional writer, I make mistakes all the time. Mm -hmm. You make a mess first, mm -hmm. and then you go back and you clean it up. But mm -hmm. people can't bring themselves to make that first messy draft. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the ways that you can get your story out or by helping others, this was something that you did with your grandmother. I love this idea. Yeah, so she is also not a writer, mm -hmm. also has lots of stories that yeah. I wanted to save forever. And so what we did was we just took a scrapbook uh, and a box of photos and I had a digital recorder and I recorded her mm -hmm. as she was going through her photos. And then just transcribed And then it. we just transcribed it, yeah. And so we put each photo and on the opposite side, there's the transcription of what she, what that photo reminded her of mm -hmm. and what she said when she was looking at that photo. It was really precious. And, and it may not have been the most like grammatically correct or, or anything or, you know, the, the punctuation or whatever, but you still wrote it that way because it keeps that story just the way she would have told it. Yes, yes. People are so terrified that their grammar isn't academic. Yeah. But academic writing, it so happens, is boring to read. <laughs> no one wants to read it. <laughs> so write it the way that you talk, mm -hmm. and that will make it so much more special to the people who read it. Okay, I love that. Okay, so today, you have releasing the book today. You're happening, having the event here. This is a beautiful spot, by the way, you guys. We're at the Treehouse Cafe here in West Sacramento. But before um, the actual event, you actually have a little workshop where you're going to help people. Yes, we are going to get some writing done. People who don't consider themselves writers and don't know how to start, we're going to get them going mm -hmm. and get some get some of those stories saved. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, my friends. So here it is. Oh, and then you get to walk away. You can get the book. You can also get a little bookie. It's a book on a cookie. See what we did there? It's a bookie. Clever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Julissa, I already have a bookie. Um, yes. Oh, wait. Oh, you, oh, you made a baked cookie. Oh, you Never do? Mind. You yeah, are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally different job. Uh, um, Good, not that kind of bookie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, my friends. Uh, it is Emma Fullenweider. It is called Onward Out Today. You can come check her out today here in West Sacramento. Be part of that workshop. She's got others. We've got all her information on our website as well. Mr. Cody Stark. Yes. Okay. You, be you meet meeting Miss Emma. Okay. Don't yeah, worry, I sent you. Such a pleasure to meet you this morning. <laughs> all right, back over to you. The only problem when she says you should write the way you talk, you guys hear me talk. <laughs> How's your mom We then? do yeah. hear you talk, yeah. yeah. You How's your talk. mom and them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's <laughs> Thanks, Sue. All right.